Hello there. This is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Aries and Aries Cross Watchers. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as the Cross Watcher of the Aries. If you hear that buzzing, humming noise, it's my microwave. I have to multitask right now. I'm doing baked potatoes in there for my baked potato soup that my daughter requested for dinner. So pardon the noise, pardon the, the light that's coming through. It's like five o'clock in the afternoon here in Hawaii. So the lighting is very different and it is dinner time. So of all the times spirit said, you gotta do Aries now. Really? Okay. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. That could be part of your, your reading and your energy is that you're multitasking. Hey, I'm busy, I'm cooking dinner, I'm working, I'm doing mommy duties, I'm doing shit. And then you meet someone or there is someone in your life and you have this crazy connection with them. And it has an old soul feeling to it. Like, it, like they're an old soul, they might be very mature mature for their age you have flirt and you have playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine they bring out the young in you makes you feel young at heart like teenagers flirt extend your light heart energy with others so you guys it, it's there's a connection here or an energy here that makes you feel young again and you don't even have to be old like i'm 44 and sometimes i feel like damn i feel a little bit old Although I feel young, I'm sometimes, you know, we get into that vibe of like older. There is a connection here that's almost like young puppy love. And they called it puppy love. That's what this is, like puppy love. The house. Some of you could be selling a house, buying a house. You just moved into one or just moved out of one. There's something here past lifey with the with a house with, with you and you and this person. They may have bought you a house in a past life. Maybe it was Victorian. Maybe some of you are obsessed with those kinds of houses, very eccentric architecture. Um, something with San Francisco, you know, in San Fran, they have a lot of those really eccentric houses, like the houses that, like you see on Charmed. I forget what that district is called in in San Fran. We went there when we when I did my meet and greet there a few years ago. Um, kind of like near the Painted Ladies. But you know that very eccentric area. I forget what it's called in San Fran. Um, something about that. It's a very gorgeous, beautiful, eccentric house. Maybe that's the kind of house you want now. But it's definitely connected to a past life of despair. There's a masculine energy here who's very upset. Maybe they have to move out. They're upset. They, they're, they're down on their luck. Someone here is down on their luck. Someone here may have lost a job. Someone here feels really discouraged. The hermit. It's Virgo. Hermit is searching. They're searching for the light. They're searching for hope. The chariot. Cancerian energy. The chariot can be travel. Someone here might have to travel for work. The chariot can also be a car, like transportation. Someone here may have recently got a new car, sold one while wow, temperance. It's Sagittarius, but that's patience. It's like everything's coming together at just the right time. But, there's a but, see, there's the but. The Nine of Swords, worried, fear, anxiety, stress. Five of Wands. A lot of moving pieces and parts, a lot of chaos, a lot of, a lot going on. The Hierophant, Taurus energy, but the Hierophant is marriage and commitment and union. Oh, Kang Dangalang, King of Wands. That's Aries Sag, right? That could be you guys, but it's an aggressive masculine energy. 
it, you know what it is? It's not just that it's aggressive. In this context right here, it feels like they just make you feel things. The flirtiness, the playfulness, they make you feel things in areas of your body that you haven't felt things in a minute. Is what it is. Ah, separation, sadness, missing you, thinking of you, yearning and unsure of future. Someone here may have been separated from a person recently. This could be this very person we speak of here, that there is some type of whether it is non-communication or someone here is just pining, they're yearning and they're very un unsure of the future. They don't know where it's going to go. They may not be sure how you feel. Maybe it's because you're saying, hey, I'm too busy. I don't know. I don't know. See, someone misses you. You have a photograph. Looking at your photos, missing you. Wow, you have two fucking cards back to back that says missing you. Two. Someone really, really misses you. Taking a chance. This is the hand of cards. Take a chance. Risk. Being strategic, options, not showing your hand, and gambling. They might think that you're not interested because you may not be putting in a lot of effort or this is vice versa. The person, the other person involved here might not be sure how you feel because of lack of effort, but they may not know that there are other things here that's happening. They may not know you're stressed out because of work. They may not know that perfect timing. Everything's about perfect timing. That's that patience as well too, huh? At the right moment, it happens. But right now, it's not time yet. There's an hourglass here. So there's a sense of an hourglass or that might be very symbolic for some of you. There's also this like Fibonacci swirl below it, right? Almost like the DNA. What is it? Double helix. DNA strand. Yes. Yes, this is it. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Bottom of the decks, you're ready. Maybe for some of you, you're thinking like, hey, you know what? I'm not quite sure if I'm ready for love again. I don't know if I should. I'm not, I don't know. But it's like they bring out this like fun side of you. This side that you thought didn't exist anymore. The light bulb. Whew, the light bulb is an aha moment. It's a discovery. It's a realization. It's a fucking epiphany. Some of you, the epiphany might be, damn, this house Stella got her groove back. Some of you, the epiphany is they're giving you your groove back. The white wolf and the falcon. Those two animals might seem to be quite important. Falcon talks about third eye. It talks about changes. So there's a lot of changes happening. It's also strategy. That's the second time the word strategy came up. It came up in one of the cards earlier as well. Um, you have rising above, transition, right? Somebody's transitioning into their higher self. And then the white wolf, which is guidance. So someone's ancestors, spirit guides, the universe is trying to help this person sort of rise up to the occasion. There, so someone here could also be going through a spiritual awakening, okay? Um, and it's actually pretty fucking beautiful as well, too. Because it feels like you've had a hand in this. You may be like they're teacher right but the teacher is a student the student is the teacher the mountain which is an obstacle the lady they feel like you're hard to get you're hard to get to you're hard to, you're hard to to um take out to call you it's there it's it's you there's a you're you're a challenge and then the bear this is big dick energy this could be wealth this is someone here who's very strong they're very protective someone here who is very aggressive the bear really wants the lady, but she's very hard to get. Oh, your extended is going to be juicy. Now, in your extended, I'm going to be using the Sexual Tarot Magic Deck cards. And so, of course, you can click on that upside down triangle below and it takes you to my description page. And there's a link there that will take you to my website, saltwaterhillstarot.com. And this is going to be in the Zodiac Intimate Extended in my, on my website, okay? Um, to rent the extended. Now, also in the link below is my Patreon link. And in my Patreon, I do erotic tower readings there too. 
And so um, it's a whole nother beast there. It's different from the ones that I rent on my website. I think there's like eight or nine erotic tarot readings right now on Patreon. I try to do them when I can, but you know, it's when I can, but there no one is going to censor us because Patreon don't care that we do those there. Anyways, <laughs> thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok, xi underscore missy underscore xi. And please be careful of the fake fraudulent accounts pretending to be me on both of those platforms. I only have one account on each. I have no backups. I have nothing of the sort. I would never, ever reach out to you and ask you if you'd like a reading or a session. Real healers and people like me, we would never do that. Okay, so be careful of the frauds. Um, sorry about the lighting. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into your extended, okay? Love you. Bye.